I'm going to show you how to post manual incoming payments with the Fiori app and the transaction code in SAP SRNA system. My name is Nundias and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for a project, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance. And the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. We have the transaction code F-28 to post in manual incoming payments from our customers. As well as there is a Fiori app, which is an emulation of this transaction code, which we are going to see in this video. Apart from this, there is a third step that we are going to see in this video, which is a very fancy Fiori app to make the payments either for vendors, either for customers, which is a UI5 technology, which means it's exclusive of Fiori Launchpad. It's not an emulation. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP GUI menu. So basically, we have accounting, financial accounting, accounting, receivable, document, and then we have something called incoming payments. This is a very old transaction code, as you can see by this. So I'm going just to do something on this one. So we are going to add our date, copy paste, document date, and then this comes by default. I will put BRL, we keep this we keep these dimensions empty. We don't need to populate. Now we need to put the bank account, the general ledger bank account. So it is. this is the, the gel account. The amount that I'm going to put is going to be 1,000. Now here in the account, I'm going to select the account type. As you can see, is D means uh, customers. I'm going to put my customer account, which is this one. And I'm going to, in the selection, I'm going to press enter. So this will bring me everything that we have for my customer. So we have entered in the previous screen, we have entered a thousand here. We have 14 records. If I double click, we go inside of my uh, document. I can display my document, which is not the case for this one. And I'm going to say that I'm going to pay this invoice. And then I'm going to deduct this credit memo. So as you can see, not assigned is zero. And I selected two items and now I'm going to simulate. Everything is good. And then I'm going to paste. So I created this document and then I can go and I can display the document that I have just created. So I have done two payments for this document. So now if we go here to the open items of my, I'm going to run, I have here the cleaning documents. So I have this thousand, these two invoices, they were just paid. And this is the cleaning document that we have just created. We have just updated. So this is a way of doing the manual payment. Now we go to the Fiori app and uh, we are in the Fiori Launchpad. If you don't know yet how to navigate in the Fiori Launchpad, you can find the link in this video to learn how to do it. If you struggle how to find Fiori apps in the Fiori SAP library, you can also find a link in this video to know how to do it. So I have here the post incoming payments, this, um, this style, this Fiori app, and I'm going to, to click on this. So if you see, this is uh, the same screen as the other one, but with a, with a Fiori information. So here I will put the same thing. I'm just going to make it here to happen, but I will not be, uh, so I think this was DZ. It doesn't come by default populated, customer payment, and then currency BRL of my company code. So in the account, we put the bank account. So this is my bank account, and I'm going to put an amount. Let me see what we have here open. So these are credit memos, DDG, 
we have this one 300 we have a credit memo of 100 so we can put 200 so now i'm going to put the amount of 200 and i'm going to add here my customer so this is my customer and as you can see it is the same screen and then i'm going to process open items so now we have we are in the screen as you can see the display is not as nice as the other one because we have to scroll down to see our amounts to pay, to be paid so in this case i have here uh, an invoice of 300 this one i'm going to double click so i have now not a sign 100 but i have a credit memo that i also can deduct for 100 so not assigned zero which means that i can click in document overview and then from here i can make my posting so i've made the payment i created this document here here is the same thing i go there click here and then i display the document i'm opening uh, the other i'm opening a different um fairy app display document data which is the document that we have created the cleaning document if you are enjoying this video as me doing for you please make a like to us So this is exactly the same thing as we have in the transaction code in the SAP WE. Now we are going to see something much, much more funny. So this is the new Fiori app called Post Incoming Payment, which is, this one is saying for customers. We can see that there is a transaction code behind. And here is a UI5 technology. So when I click there, we can see that this is already something much different than the other one. So what we have here in the general information, we have the company code, we have the posting date, and then we have the journal entry date, you can put value date, it's not mandatory. By default, we have this E already. Now here, you need to put the bank account to make this incoming payment. So this is our bank account. So our client has sent us a payment of 1000 to our bank account so we keep it as it is we don't do anything else and we are going to insert our customer so this is our customer i'm going to click in propose items if you see i updated the balance there and i have all my open items here those ones i can see that they are digits which are credit memos they are our invoices here also I can add more fields to my report as an example, payment reference, for example. We have added payment reference and as you can see is there and then I can go here and export to a spreadsheet, which is quite easy to do it and we get the information that we have in our report. So basically, basically we can build a report and send this to our customer to let him know which documents are you paying so now i need to find the document that i'm paying so basically i have here this one that matches i'm going to click here in assign so this is a sign for for cleaning this is the journal entry same number we move it as a sign for cleaning and now we can do a simulation so we are simulating exactly what we are going to post against to my uh, customer so I'm going to make a post. So the document has been created. And then from here, I can go to, uh, I can create correspondence to, to let him know. I can reverse and I can create a new payment. So we have posted our journal entry and I'm, I'm okay. I want to make a new payment. So everything here is done. I don't need to put anything. Let's imagine that he paid me. 399 3099 so now i'm going to insert my customer this is my customer and i'm going to show the proposed item so i have this balance and then i'm going to see what this doesn't match with any of my open items so what i'm going to do i don't know it's uh, what invoices he wants to pay what i'm going to do is post on account i just click here 
by default, my custom is there. So I just need to put here 3099, enter. My balance is zero. And then from here, I can simulate the posting. So these are the accounts that I'm moving and then I can do the posting. Posting was done. If I go back here to the SAP agree and then I run again, the one items for this guy, I can see here this document created a DZ, which is an incoming payment, which is not assigned to, it was not clear against to anything. Going back, so this is what we have been po what we have posted. Please add some comments in the video to let us know which option do you prefer to make manual postings. Now you know how to post manual incoming payments in a using a Fiori app and the transaction code in SAP as for an system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.